Hi Diego, it's raining. Yeah, he loves it when it rains like this. And Enzo, he's there under the little roof. Are you just gonna walk in the rain? Okay, that's okay. And all the dogs are here. <laughs> Go under the roof, Diego. Like Pokey. Well, I was just chasing something that I thought was a cat in the tiger's enclosure. Luckily, I got the tigers out and it seems like it was a rat that I saw on the camera. I saw something run inside here and it is immediately well a huge alarm not exactly like the one in the background but yeah I have searched through here now and there is nothing so I'll just put some chlorine in the pool and then open up for the boys again but yeah I thought there was definitely something in here and then so, <laughs> you guys are great <laughs> they they came in and I closed them up and they are amazing. Thanks Enzo. When I need, you really need you guys to listen, you do listen. And that's great. Okay, I'll, open it. I'll be opening up for you in a few minutes. Well, what a surprise. Look at little Mikey there. He can't believe that little karaoke is showing us tail feathers already. Check that out. This is the first time I've seen him do that. He just came upstairs. And yeah, everybody's still in bed, and he's coming up to show us. Sachis, can you believe it? <laughs> Look at him, he is amazing. <laughs> Mikey, <laughs> well, thank you for showing us that, little one. There he goes, and his mom is right there in front of him. <laughs> okay, dogs. The ones that need their medicine got it. And just quickly, there's a grasshopper and there's a worm over there, but those worms, they burn. Don't touch them. So I'm gonna just rescue him and you won't believe how difficult it is to get your pool this color. It's not that easy. Yeah, believe me. I've tried the whole year to get it this color and there's a wasp over there let's just save him as well so easy but yeah just look at this pool this is a unique kind of green i've been trying my whole year to get this to this green and now i finally got it right at last just joking it did that all by itself but i'm gonna try and get it blue MacGyver! MacGyver! Now that's MacGyver really happy to see me but then he got camera shy. MacGyver! <laughs> Chaka over here. Where's MacGyver now? <laughs> he ran away. Real quick. But let me start my chores here on this side. Chaka! <laughs> Get it done. I don't know where he went. <laughs> he probably ran over there to our dwins. Come on, Layla, stop chasing the rabbits. <laughs> and she's got me by the pants. Can you believe it? <laughs> they do this. This is what puppies do. <laughs> and when she sees a rabbit, she chases him. And when she sees a big bird like this, a chicken or... Well, I call him Hansi, but it's a she. If he, she sees her, she runs. Because that little duck, <laughs> well, chases her away. <laughs> While the monkeys just watch and have a laugh. <laughs> hey! Buta! <laughs> 
Zina. Oh, they dropped, or oh, she dropped, uh, <laughs> strawberry. Now, Afrikaans, it's a arbei. That's what we call a strawberry in Afrikaans. A arbei. Can you believe it? And there is little Chloe. She's got a little tear under her eye. I don't know what that is from. She's got it now and then. And it could be even a tooth, but I think it's related to the diabetes. And look at him showing us his tongue. <laughs> Talisi. Absolutely gorgeous little Talisi. Okay, so as usual, just driving along and then we pick up some animal. And this time it's a dove or pigeon. I'm not really sure what type this is, but it was in the street. He did fly a little, so he's not really hurt. He might have got knocked down. Taking him home quickly, gonna give him something to eat, keep him a couple of days, and then we'll see how we can do this. Get him back into the wild. Jackie had to run in traffic to get him. <laughs> but at least this car's doors opens upwards and they are everywhere. So people had to stop and wait a little. So yeah, let's go and get him fed and just get him a little stronger. He will be perfect in no time. Okay, let's get him in the little cage. Okay, so he is eating and already showing that he is doing well. So we're going to leave him over here. The shade is only going to be more on the side of the house now. In the mornings there's too much sun, so he will be just fine over here. And he can recover. We'll let him go pretty soon. Don't even think about it, Diego. Well, that is what is left after a couple of days. That is one of the spiders over there. Let's look at that little one. And there's another one over there. Oh well, yeah, they have been here for at least three days. And Diego still hasn't even seen any one of them. Diego! Where's those little spiders? <laughs> He's so friendly today. <laughs> ah, Diego. Yeah, Enzo's still sleeping over there. But yeah, you guys better hurry up to meet those spiders because they're growing up and leaving the nest. I don't think they're going to be there in the next few days. Especially if Pokini, if he sees them, they're gone. Believe me, he'll just eat them right up. And uh, he's just eating some flies over there now. Uh, let's go, Pokey. Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. I put those leaves there out of your way. <laughs> there he goes. Whoops. Those two catching some rays right there. Relaxed as can be. <laughs> Yeah, if you walk past him, he just touches you all the time. Look at this. <laughs> With claws, of course. But this four, <laughs> they're playing. I heard them outside the window playing with that little, well, it's a leaf or something. But then they came in with it and now they are just continuing to play with it inside and he just got Tracy <laughs> Tracy time for your pill yeah she is getting those fits but she hasn't had one yet since we have been giving her her medication so let me quickly give her her pill and watch these little ones play <laughs> Mikey <laughs> Harry and he is my long nose cat. Just look at that long nose. It's amazing. <laughs> well, that's how I can distinguish between these two now. And she's got the long nose. And she's got the short one. And uh, I don't know which one I prefer. I prefer them both. 
They are absolutely gorgeous, these little ones. Well, Smarty Pants just showed up the first time in a week. Actually, I did see him a couple of days ago on the roof of the house, running away from, well, actually, Father Cat. Here he is now. He's allowing him to be around. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give him chicken today. I'm a little late with everything, but I do have some very nice cat food. Gonna, I've always got cat food around. <laughs> he just needs to find it. But yeah, let's put it down here for you, Smarty Pants and Father Cat. Okay, that's the way he likes it. Just like that. But yeah, you don't always see all the cats. But they are around. They do come around to eat every day. But sometimes I don't see them for a week. And they come back. But they don't only live here by my house. They also live at the other houses. I mean, here's Mother Cat. She's always around. But I don't see her every day. But yeah, there is eating. <laughs> I have to say, I love it when I find them here at the zoo house. And I know that they came back from wherever they actually live. Just to make a turn and to come and eat. But you can't always guarantee that they will come back. It is difficult, especially with these males. Because they do fight Enzo. And the problem is you can't be on the roof of the house and with the tigers it's easier actually to control the fight than with the normal cats they fight where you don't know where they are you just hear them and you can't do nothing but at least they get along most of the time <laughs> they fight the minute but they get along for weeks months and then there's a minute again but yeah a tiger fight is much more severe but who knows if you're the cat i guess it's not gonna matter it's gonna be bad in any way well guys that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that like always have a great day